Take me as I am. It's I just know, hilarious. Tell me that, and I'm always it like, is, how old's your kid? Because yeah. the idea of them singing to faggots, lesbians, dykes, cross-dressers, yeah. too. I'm like, you're yeah. 11? Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> That's exactly the kind of stuff I was singing to when I was 11. Well, so exactly. Nice, I was saying, like, how bad like a mother am I that my 14-year-old's favorite director is Quentin Tarantino, you yeah. know? <laughs> my dad gave me Reservoir Dogs when I was 16 to study great acting. <laughs> And I watched it seven times in that week, and he's one of those exceptional parents who wasn't nervous about that. He actually was like, oh, she gets it. Awesome. I can sit down and we can watch, you know, a bunch of other movies now together. It's there you go. Pretty cool. This is so fantastic. I had such a good time watching this film. And I just thought, you know, Rosario, was it an actor's dream to be a part of something like this? Completely. Completely. I, you know, my, my, my dad, who's so, he's, he's always been such a big, like, fan for me, and, and he, he's such a big movie lover. Quentin Tarantino is such a huge person for him. He's, he did share Reservoir Dogs with me. It was the first time way I ever was introduced to him. And my dad was in, by accident, he was in Dog Day Afternoon. There was, there was like cameras in the very beginning of the movie when they're doing the credits. My dad's that person who's walking across the, across the screen, who's wearing acid wash jeans, a wife beater, and long shaggy hair. And just the fact that he was a part of that movie was so exciting for him. I felt that same way. If I could do, if I could walk across the screen at one point in Quentin's film, that honestly would have been enough for me, just to be able to be a part of this. This is such a cool experience, and such, I feel like like is going to be very iconic for people to watch because this is introducing something to a lot of people they don't they've never even experienced before yeah. a drive-in movie theater or double feature with the trailer like the, it, the concept of it is really lost to a lot of the, this new generation where everything's on DVD and you download and you watch movies on YouTube mm -hmm. like if you want to piss Robert off you talk about watching a movie <laughs> on your iPod he would shoot you first and he has good aim you know like <laughs> it's really amazing and so, so to, to do it with two people who really bona fide team together are mm -hmm. saying Movies are great. Go to the theater, watch it there with an audience. Scream, holler, throw shit at the, you know, yeah. at the screen. That's the way you watch a movie. is pretty phenomenal, and it's and it's nice to be a part of that because I have that same passion. Totally agree with you, 100 percent. Here, here. You know, now having worked with both these dudes, mm -hmm. who is more sick and twisted, Robert or Quentin? <sighs> I have. To Oh, you know, it's like it's weird because that you can't, you can't, you, there's no way to answer that. There's actually no way to answer that because you have Robert who would actually write that his son would shoot himself in the head and then get carried around for the entire movie. And you have Quentin who's got, you know, who's got the balls to let his genitalia melt on camera that's disgusting like there's not there's 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 no way to compare either of those things like who could like it's no there it's a, just a genius thing that they're friends that they're collaborators and that they're making great movies like this for us to enjoy and not out there doing this stuff because I think that could get very misunderstood and cool to kick Kurt Russell's butt beyond amazing to kick Snake Plissken's ass I mean I have to say us women we're, we're in that gearhead movie we're in that great slasher film and we're not topless we're not just getting slashed to bits and left on the floor. We're actually on, coming out on top. It's very empowering. I think it's going to be a very cool date movie for people to go on because the guys are going to love it, but the women are going to come out going, yeah, this is how you shake a hand. <laughs> <laughs> totally open for a sequel. Right Thank on. you so much. Thank